did another client, but that guy also terrified me. And it's kind of a funny story. He had, I had sent him the screencast and he didn't see it. His current web designer deleted the email and he was Googling himself and found my screencast. And he was like, wow, this is cool. And then, so I called him the follow-up and he's like, I did see that. No, I didn't get the email. That's weird. Like I... And what's great too, is I can tell you right now, I didn't have a whole lot of friends when I first started this. I really didn't. And it's like all my friends now, they're all freaking like my customers, my family. Like that's, that's my friends. These are the people that I hang with day in and day out. Right. And yeah. that's what you're going to get too. You're going to realize, cause the people that I did hang with before this, obviously, you know, when I started doing good, they were like, you see my post the other day about this. It's like, they start to put you down or they're not liking your yeah. fucking post or they're like, you know what I mean? They're constantly talking shit behind your back, right? Like I heard so much <laughs> drama when I first started. Oh, Josh is starting some online bullshit. It's not going to work. He'll be back in six months. Watch da, da, da. Like I've heard it all. And all those guys, they, they end up not coming around and you have to, you have to just keep pushing through and, and you get to where you're getting now. You're building relationships with like-minded people, business owners, and you're bringing value to the world, right? And it, that's so much better than talking shit about people or being one of those people to when your friend goes to start to do something, um, you're talking bad about them, right? Because I'm not right. saying that I haven't done that to some of my friends. I'm sure I have in the past. Um, I didn't have a winner's mindset. Now I right. do, um, which is which is beautiful. So you end up landing this customer and then it just, did it just kind of click from that point to where you're like, oh shit, filling my pipeline does work, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so he was... Um, he was obviously our first customer and that was so cool. I remember coming home and seriously, it was like 2.30 in the morning, but I was like, holy shit, we landed someone. And like, we didn't have to come down on our price and we didn't have to do anything crazy. You know, like we actually landed him. We like him. I feel really good about it. And so the next day it was a Saturday. I was just, I just remember like calling and calling. Cause I was like, wait, I want to do that again. That was exciting. You know, I'm, I'm starting to get my confidence and, um, and I think, it was another week or two before I landed another client, but that guy also terrified me. And it's kind of a funny story. He had, I had sent him the screencast and he didn't see it. His current web designer deleted the email and he was Googling himself and found my screencast. And he was go. like, wow, this is cool. And then, so I called him the follow-up and he's like, I didn't see that. No, I didn't get the email. That's weird. Like I wonder. And so we ended up finding out later that his current web designer that he left, um, I deleted the email and so this guy was so freaking cool and like I this was my first client on um, that was charging over a thousand dollars so he was gonna be my second client and we were um we decided because there was pretty pretty good search volume we were gonna come up with uh about twelve hundred dollars a month and so I was like shaking I was freaking out again you know this guy is just, like cool what, like, <laughs> what were you make, what were you making per month at cat if you don't mind my asking um I yeah, 25 an hour was what we, is what I was doing at CAP. Okay. And you're doing 40 hour weeks? Uh, minimum, generally more like 50 or more. Yeah. Like 50. Okay. So, so you, so you were making, you probably take home what, like six, seven grand? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I think so. I wasn't there long enough to really. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's just say, let's just call it six or seven grand. And what are you making per month right now? Because I know you posted something about 11, but you're getting ready to maybe let go of a customer that you didn't really like. So what, what are you actually doing per month right now? So with him, I think it's like 11.5 or 11.9, somewhere right around there. Uh, today, actually, I just sent that email. I was like, listen, like we need to bump up this monthly or like, because he's a long story, but without him, it'll be, I think it'll be right around 11. Um, okay. And with him, it's like 11, 11, 5, 11, 6, somewhere around there.